Porsche factory driver. Knows the Ferraris well. Back in the 458 era, certainly. Looks the inside. Is he going to be able to do, do something about the... So there's contact there. There certainly was, and that has uh, shoved the 55 car out of the way. And now it is side by side in LMP3. There's a wiggle, it's the two it's and the, the 13. Two. Yeah, with the red roof, the number two car, the three is out of the race. That is course. a change for the lead. That is Josh Cagle going through on Charles Cruz. Side for Sally Jolic and taking that third, third position now uh, goes Fernie Habsburg. So Picariello has done long and loyal service in Southeast Asia after the Porsche Motorsports Asia Pacific. There he goes. Same driver there. Here you go. Through it sweeps and takes the position. We have got confirmation as to why Iron Links changed the door on the 60 car, by the way. That was because of contact, but not with the Aston Martin 69. Overlap again here to the inside line then for Matt Griffin, trying to get third position away from Diego Alessi. And on the brakes, confirmed into turn number seven. Aitken's got the run on the car in front. He'll now be too abreast. He That's was pretty Brody. forceful in qualifying yesterday, and he will get the place under braking as long as he can get it stopped. And up to second position in Pro Am. No way through this time, but the pressure is going to allow. It's Petro Belli, sorry, up the up inside of Al Harty this time. Is that the position that's going to change? Ferrari and Aston Martin side by side. And the Ferrari's going to get it here, Johnny. A oh. little bit of a shove to the left as well for the Aston Martin, but that's GT racing at the end of the day. The Ferrari is carrying some damage on the front right corner. Getting closer and closer on the long straight that we have here at Barcelona. Rivera to Bradley to the Done outside it. line. That'll give him the inside for two. Great move. Late on the brakes round the outside of one, and that delivers you into the apex at turn two. Richard Bradley has no response to that, that Fiscal's not on the same racing lap. Getting the run through the kink at nine, and at the very last moment to the inside line at ten, or there was a lock-up and some more contact as well. These, uh, the Ferrari and Porsche are going to look very second-hand at the end of this race. A forceful but eventually fair manoeuvre, I would have said, for Mikkel Jensen to get by, and now he is disappearing up the road.